Xochimilco, Mexico, just south of Mexico City. Dotted amongst the numerous tree-filled canals that run through this ancient city are dozens of artificial floating islands known as Chinyapas. But one Chinyapa stands out because the branches of its willow and cypress trees appear to be growing something rather unusual. The place is called Isla de las Muñecas, otherwise known as the Island of the Dolls. The island is a forest-like enclave draped with thousands and thousands of ordinary dolls. Childhood playthings hanging from trees, vines, and branches. It's very eerie. These look like suspended living presences that are believed to ward off evil. It's a spooky living sculpture that some people say um, is cursed. And according to folklore, you can hear whispering and you can hear little girls' voices. Uh, you can see the, the doll's eyes blinking on their own, which is just terrifying. The only permanent residents of the island are the strange dolls that have given the place a ghoulish reputation. But who created this macabre spectacle? And why? Well, according to local lore, the story began in the 1950s when the island was owned by a man named Julian Santana Barrera. Julian Santana Barrera came to live on the Chinampa. And according to the stories, he came across a, a little girl floating in one of the canals. Barrera is devastated that he can't save the little girl and pulls her out of the water and buries her on the island. Barrera felt eventually that he was seeing the ghost of this girl walking around his little Chinampa Island. To try to make her happy, he hung some dolls in the trees. And he hung more and more dolls up to appease the spirit of this little girl who died tragically. We can think about what Barrera did as a talisman or a symbol um, that is used to uh, protect. All across the globe, you see these totems being used in this particular way. There are stones and there are ornaments that people hang in their houses, in their cars. Sometimes people carry them on their physical person and the act is done as a kind of protective gesture. Ultimately, Barrera hung thousands of dolls all over the island, not only to honor the memory of the young girl, but also to guard against a dark entity that he believed had caused her death, an entity known as La Llorona. La Llorona is a tragic character. She is the first native mother who gave birth to children from a conquistador, a Spaniard. The story says that her community rejected her because her children were Spaniard, and so she was shamed. She was so ashamed of this, in fact, that she went down to the river and she drowned her children. She immediately regretted this. Now she's the spirit that haunts lakes and rivers. La Llorona is a well-known myth all around Mexico. And so a man like Barrera, who sees a child floating in the water, he almost certainly, at least for a moment, thought of La Llorona and that this is her children floating. Since Barrera's death in 2001, the island of the dolls has remained abandoned. But locals continue to tell the story of the drowned girl. Many are convinced that there's an evil presence on this island. And as evidence, they point to the chilling circumstances of Julian Barrera's death. 
After suffering from a fatal heart attack, his body was found in an unsettling location. But it dies. And not only does he die on the island, but his body is found in the exact canal where he found the little girl. Is there correlation? We don't know. But many people believe that if you are out at night by yourself, playing down by the river, that La Llorona will, quote unquote, get you. <laughs>